Hey friends, today I'm going to be telling you the truth about house sitting and it's going to be rough and it's going to be raw. So I hope you're ready for it. Coming up next on Leisure and Lace. All right, guys. So if you don't know already, my name is Lexi. I'm a leisure lifestyle content creator, cybersecurity consultant, and career coach. And on this channel, I'll be telling you all about how you can earn more so you can do more. And if that sounds good to you, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and share the video with all of your friends on social media. So the first thing, the first truth is that house sitting is a great way to have free accommodations when you're traveling. So let's say you want to go to France, Paris, France. You just sign up at trustedhousesitters.com and just, well, <clears throat> can't really wait for people to contact you. <laughs> when you see something you like, a house sit that you like, then you apply for it. And uh, there'll be other people applying for it as well. So you wanna put your best foot forward when you apply for these houses. But it's an awesome way to, you know, just basically have free accommodations. All you have to do is pay for your transportation to the country. And voila. So house sitting is awesome for that. And I've done, I've done a few house sits and uh, they've been nice, they've been great. You know, beautiful homes and beautiful neighborhoods and uh, a lot of perks. So definitely look into house sitting for that, for free accommodations. Now, the second truth about house sitting is that it also almost always includes pet sitting. So if you don't like animals, you don't like dogs, you don't like cats, ducks, I mean, horses, <laughs> it runs the whole gamut when it comes to animals because you know it might be on a farm or something like that. So house sitting 99% of the time there's you have to take care of a pet as well. Dog, cat, sometimes it's five dogs, sometimes it's three cats and two dogs. It's it can get really crazy. So you really want to think about that when you're signing up for these house sits because you may not have time to go out and see the city. So uh, there's no use in flying all the way to Paris, getting a house sit, and then you can't see Paris because you're busy taking care of the animals. So just take that into consideration, and uh, and then you should be fine. Because I know I only sign up for pet sits where there's like one pet. I prefer cats. Cats are so easy. Most of them, most of them. I almost got beat up by a cat though. I was I was uh, picking with them. And because he was sitting right next to me, you know how they like to perch like right there. And so I don't know, I decided to like pick at him and <clears throat> he showed me who was boss. Cause I was like, wow, I don't want to get beat up by this cat. Cause you know, he still had all his claws <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh. So, I mean, we got along pretty, you know, we got along well. It was just, we had that um, <clears throat> misunderstanding. And uh, I was like, uh-oh. It was a big cat, too. You know, like, really big. Like, one of those big orange cats. And uh, so he was greedy, too. You know? Greedy. But anyway. Um, so, yeah. So, <laughs> so most, uh, most of them, you know. And the one thing I didn't like about, uh, like, taking care of the animals is when it was, because I had a big dog once. And they have like gigantic poos and you have to clean up that poo because if it's a because that was a really nice neighborhood and there was like a zero tolerance for you know poo policy around there and uh so you had to get that poo up and it was like and i had to do it like twice a day and they was huge and they was you know mushy so so if you don't like that kind of thing then you probably won't want to sign up for house sitting because like most of them, like 99% of them, you do have to take care of a pet. But, I mean, if you can find uh, a pet sit, 
where you don't have to take care of a pet in the city, country of your choice, fantastic. But I don't know if it'd be worth like the the fee that you have to pay to get listed on trusted house sitters. But of course, that's up to you. So the third truth about house sitting is that it's very competitive. So if you're trying to go to like hot spots like Lisbon, Portugal, or Paris, France, or you know, these kind of places, Italy, there's a lot of competition. And although you can set alerts, you know, when a house sit comes a house sit becomes available, you have to really jump on that quick. You can't say, Oh, I'll get to it in a few minutes. Because once you log on to the uh, app, it's gone. It is gone. Or, or the, it'll be in like a state of reviewing applications because they, you know, they've gotten enough. So at that point, they're reviewing applications. And even at, even then, even if you do get in uh, into, the re <clears throat> into the pile, you still might not get it. It just depends, you know, and some of them are pretty picky. So, uh, but don't, don't feel bad if you get declined. Everybody gets declined. So, uh, I got declined. I didn't, you know, I should, well, I was a little bit disappointed. It was a really nice house. So, uh, I prefer to stay at the really nice houses with, you know, all the accoutrements and trappings of the West. So, yeah. So it is what it is, but yes, it's very competitive. So I advise you to be proactive and just check every day check every day don't wait to get the alert because it could be too late so <clears throat> the next truth about house sitting is that the pets can become very attached to you and i know even though i had the misunderstanding with the cat <laughs> He didn't want me to leave. He didn't want me to leave. <clears throat> he wouldn't come back in the house because I let him go out on the porch to relax because that's something he liked doing. And when, you know, because they know, you know, as soon as you start packing up, you know what time it is. So he wouldn't come back in the house. He would not. I'm like, get in the house, get in the house, get in the house. And so finally, uh, I was like, all right, fine. I'm coming to get you, you know. So I went to go get him and then he darted into the house. So they know what they're doing and uh but they don't they love company and they don't want you to leave you know after you've established a bond with them even uh the the big black dog uh that i was i'm gonna call him dino uh that i was uh watching over he when he saw me packing up he started acting out he jumped up on the bed and he knew he wasn't supposed to be on the bed and they just I don't know. They, they have anxiety, a little bit of anxiety when you're leaving. So you just have to um, just kind of uh, expect that. And, uh, you know, it's, it's okay. You know, just let them know, hey, it's been, it's been a good times, good times. But it's time for me to go. You know, your parents are coming back. You know, mommy's coming back soon, so chill out, right? So, but it happens. You know, they have a little bit of anxiety. Because like I said, they love, you know, they love being around people. Most pets, you know, um, because even like with the cat, because she was saying, oh, you know, he's going to be upstairs all day sleeping. But that wasn't true. He was that he was with me most of the time. You know, most pets love me, except, you know, like we said, I, we had that misunderstanding. <clears throat> but um, so, so, yeah. So the next truth is that. You don't have to pet sit or house sit alone. You can take a friend with you or you like you can take your spouse, your boyfriend uh, or your child. So that's usually not an issue. You know, just let the people know because they usually want to know. Is it just you or you bringing somebody? They don't mind. So, I mean, you don't have to house sit alone, especially if you're nervous about the first time. You know, you can take somebody with you. Take a friend, you know, take your kid. Sometimes you can take your pets, but usually they don't want you to um, because you, you never know how, you know, two animals are going to interact with each other. So a lot of people will say no pets. So, but sometimes you can. Sometimes you can, especially if it's a farm or something like that, you can usually take your own dog or cat or what have you. So, yeah. So you can have a good time 
and and uh, just don't eat their food. I know this one lady was reiterating with me, just don't drink my alcohol, just don't drink my alcohol. I'm like, lady, I'm not an alcoholic. <laughs> and I don't drink wine either, so I'm just like, you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, it was so funny because she kept reiterating. She put it in her her online documents, and then when I talked to her on the phone, she was still like, "Don't drink my." I don't know if somebody came in there and she got back and they had drank all of her alcohol or what happened, but she was really uh, she was really uh, adamant about that. And then it was so funny. I had this other one that she invited me to. Uh, she said it was some uh, some wine. I could have the wine that was left in my refrigerator. And then when I went in there to look at it, even though I don't drink wine, it was like about this much left in there. I'm like, come on, lady, you know, they they just try you sometimes. I'm like, stop pretending like you, you know, being generous. You know, so, <clears throat> yeah. So, but it, it was all good in the neighborhood, all good. <laughs> They did have some cider in there because I like cider and it was like blackberry or something. I'm like, wow, that's, that's, it was cold and it looked so refreshing, but <sighs> alas, I couldn't have any. So bring your own alcohol. <laughs> Even though some people, actually, I've heard stories of people saying there was a bottle of wine that was left on the table for them or the counter. So uh, some some uh, some of the owners of the houses, you know, they're they're really nice, you know, and, and generous, and they'll. Um, I mean, I've had people you know, say, you know, I can have what's in the refrigerator, but you don't want what's, you don't we don't want that stuff. It's like it's you know, it's usually <clears throat> I don't want to go deep into it, but you know, <clears throat> it's just regular people, and it's just you know, you, you just buy your own food. <laughs> Buy your own food. So, um, let's see. What's the next thing? Oh, yes. Hold on, guys. The next one is... Uh, oh, yeah. <clears throat> Sometimes the owners will cancel on you. So, you can have scheduled this house sit, you know, for like I say, three months from now and sunny California and uh, let's say... Uh, San Diego because it's beautiful in San Diego so let's say you schedule your house sit and then a week before the house sit they can cancel on you you get a, a cancellation now um, they do have like some kind of insurance with house sitters so if you get like the not the basic plan but the next one after that then there's some insurance to help protect you against that so that's something if that happens to you but i still say because i think it only covers like maybe a day or two so i would say have a plan b just in case your house sit gets canceled because it can happen i haven't had it happen yet but just have the plan b you know but not one of those airbnbs that you that's non-refundable because a lot of them are non-refundable these days you know, you want to probably just do a, a hotel as a backup. So you won't lose your money. <clears throat> so, and the next one, the next truth is there may not be adequate towels and things like that. So if you can, because I know a lot of times when you're traveling, you're trying to pack light. Uh, just, you know, if you can squeeze in there, you know, a towel, um, a hand towel and a face cloth, especially face cloths. A lot of times they'll have the other ones. Uh, the other two, like the bath towel and the hand towel, but they don't have the face cloth. I don't know why. I mean, you need the face cloth to get into the cracks and crevices. So I, I don't know why. No, I don't know why. I can't. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't have an explanation for that. So. And the next one. Um, the next truth is house sitting is not a gig for pay. So you don't get paid to house sit. You house sit in exchange for the free accommodation instead of having to get a hotel or an Airbnb. So a lot of people have the expectation. They think they're like, how much does it pay? How much does it pay? Well, it doesn't pay anything. <laughs> so <laughs> at least not on trusted house sitters. 
that's not how it works. It doesn't pay anything. So, you know, you, you just need to have that expectation that you're just going to be getting free accommodation. They're going to be getting a free house sit and pet care. Free pet care because more than likely there's a pet. So, and sometimes it's multiple pets. I don't know what's going on. I'm not watching five animals for free. <laughs> so, but I mean, some people, they, they love animals. I mean, that's just a lot of work. You know, it's, it's just, it's too much work for me. It's not, it doesn't fit into my life of ease. It doesn't fit into leisure, my leisure plan for my life. So, <clears throat> but some people love it. I mean, they're like, wow, five, five, uh, I don't know. <clears throat> what kind of pets five labrador retrievers you know so i mean that's going to be you know an adventure in itself because some of those look a lot of actually the majority of these pets are really spoiled you know and they're on a strict schedule so and that's why i say be careful um when you pick your house sit and especially if there's multiple animals because they are on regimented schedules and they're expecting to eat at this time and that time and you know, to go out on walks at certain times. And if you're thinking, you know, uh, you know, as soon as I get there, I'm going to be party hardying and out all day and all that kind of stuff. You have to make sure that the, the schedule that you have is uh, a little on the flexible side and that you can be out, you know, partying, hardying um, all day and all night. Otherwise, though, you know, you need to be there. You have to be there to take, you know, to feed them. Now, it was good for me because I, you know, I'm a remote worker. So, you know, I'm like, wow. I'm like, we have the same schedule. <laughs> you know, I'm like, no worries, you know. I'll be there all day with your baby. So, but, you know, other people, like, if you're, like, actually on a vacation vacation where you're not working and things like that, like you're not a digital nomad, then... You know, you, you might not want that deal. So, um, so, yeah, so something to consider. Now, the next truth is that house sitting is relatively safe. Now, I know a lot of people, especially like uh, first timers, they're a little scared uh, to do a house sit because they're like, you know, and it is kind of scary. And I know um, I had to get to one of my house sits early in the morning so it was you know still kind of dark and uh she had left the the key in a little um combination lock thing on the side of the of the house and you know i'm looking around and <laughs> you know and it was a combination so it took me a minute to to get the combination right and uh, so and it was raining too you know so i'm just like <laughs> So there's going to be, you know, episodes like that, but no big deal. And uh, so, but it's, 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 it's safe, you know, uh, Trusted House Sitters does background checks and just, you know, extra safety precaution. Just make sure someone, you know, know where you are. You know, they have the, the address and they have the name of the, of the, of the person. So, you know, just in case, but generally speaking, I haven't heard of anything bad happening on a house sit because really these people are just trying to get out of town so they can go on a vacation and relax and, you know, be comforted knowing that someone's taking care of their animals and watching their homes. So, so yeah. And, and you know, of course, most of these, the majority of the owners the homeowners they have like you know really nice beautiful homes not everybody now so <laughs> i've seen some homes you know and, and you'll be able to see you know they have pictures posted of what their houses look like on the inside and you know because I, I don't like uh i don't like junky uh crowded spaces you know where they got stuff everywhere so i don't like those kind of homes and so any house sit that I apply for, it has to be, uh, you know, neat and tidy. And I'll leave it neat and tidy. So, and I'm, you know, I can be messy sometimes, but I leave, I leave places neat and tidy. You know, I leave, I leave places like I found them. So, and that's what they really want. 
you know, they, they just want to come back to their house in one piece and their animal happy and healthy. So, and that's how I leave it. So let's see what else. Oh, well, and the last truth about house sitting is it is a wonderful way to embrace leisure. Because a lot of these homes, like I said, they're, they're big, they're beautiful. They have swimming pools, they have jacuzzis, they have saunas. So you'll be able to relax and rest in your femininity on these house sits. You know, also you'll have usually access to like any neighborhood recreation, like tennis courts and hiking trails and things like that. And some of them have fitness centers. So it's a great way to just relax, live in ease and embrace your leisure. And so I recommend that you do it. Sign up for the house city. And actually I have a link in the description and you can get a discount when you sign up for trusted house sitters. So check the link in the description. My name's Lexi and I am your host for this channel, Leisure and Lace. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.